For today's simple build, I'm going to make a simple gift that can be done with just two power tools. Let's get building. So for this build, we're going to make a foam stand. It's just two pieces of wood that's, that interlock together. And it's very easy to cut out and make. And I'm going to show you how to do that with uh, just a jigsaw and the drill. You honestly don't even need the drill, but I'm going to use it to go ahead and do pilot holes for the saw, saw blade. Just because I like the look better of it being a solid piece instead of cutting into it to get my hole started. We're going to use a piece of fence board cedar that can be found at your local big box store, Lowe's, Home Depot. These pieces of wood are relatively cheap, cost about $2.50, just depends on where you're at in the country and, and which store you're going to. When you're looking for your wood, you want to make sure that you choose a piece of wood that's going to be nice and solid for what we're doing. This one, as you can see, has a lot of uh, damage either from bugs or whatever that might be cutting through the middle of the wood. This would be great for something like an epoxy piece or something, but for what we're going to do, this piece would basically be garbage. So we have a nice clean piece of, of cedar that we already have cut. Um, I have about 16 inches here, but you're not going to use all of that. Um, in fact, you're only going to use a small portion of it. As you can see, putting the pieces together, it really doesn't take much of that wood to go ahead and make the, knock this out. And we're going to actually use this original piece as our template. So as you're lining up the pieces, you want to go and make sure that you find the best pieces for the, your cut. Uh, try to make sure that you're not actually cutting into knots. Makes it a little bit difficult when you're trying to cut your pieces. And we're going to go ahead and line this up against the edge of the wood just so that we can do as few cuts as possible. And because we have a knot right there, we're going to go ahead and try to avoid that as much as possible. So I'm actually going to put it in the middle of this back piece of the wood. We're going to set this as close to the line as possible. Again, try to utilize as few cuts as possible as we're making the piece. Now this inside cut that I'm drawing right now is basically just a slot that allows us to get the wiring from the front to the back so you can plug your phone in. So to start this cut, I'm going to go ahead and put my board on a piece of backing material. That prevents the blowout from the drill. We're just going to go ahead and drill into the corners here. And if you've never worked with cedar before, especially this type of cedar, um, you can see that it's really a soft material. Um, the drill is just going right through it. Don't really have to really try, um, which is why you have to be really careful to ensure that you don't get any blowout.
To make this easier to cut, I'm going to go ahead and use the clamp and clamp it down to my table. And we're going to cut just outside the line and allow a little bit of, of uh, waste there that we can use the sander to remove later. Something I'm going to do a little bit different than I did on the original one, which was cut on the CNC, is I'm going to go ahead and take this corner off here just to give it a little bit of an angle to sit on so it's a little bit more stable. And then just to finish up this job, I'm going to go ahead and work on getting everything sanded up nice and smooth. And when you're going to go ahead and sand this, you want to make sure that you go ahead and get out all the chatter marks that are left by the saw. So for this original phone holder, I put a monogram on it using my laser. Now, 
I get it, not everybody's gonna have a laser that they can use to cut on wood. But there's a couple of different options that you can use. A lot of people nowadays have Cricut machines. You can put just a little simple sticker on there, or you can even leave it plain. One thing that I found that makes a great tool is a burning marker. So these pins are relatively easy to find on Amazon or other maker type uh, sites as well. Um, I think you can probably find them at Michael's, uh, but it's basically it's a pyography marker and it works just the same way as a regular marker does except for the fact that the ink that is in it is heat reactive so when you take a blow dryer to it it makes the image appear uh, nice and bright. And that's all it takes to make this simple gift. This is something that you can knock out pretty quickly. Great for working with the kids as maybe a gift for grandparents or, or mom and dad. I hope you liked this simple build. If you did, please make sure you uh, smash that like button and hit the bell for notifications. Until next time, I'm Brad and this has been My Simple Builds. So for the original phone holder, for the original phone holder, I can't even say it. <laughs>